Hello everyone! I am happy to share with you another topic in mathematics. In this video, definition, examples, and exercises were given for you to have a clear insight about this topic. Watch, listen carefully, and join me in learning the Pythagorean theorem. Here we go! Pythagorean Theorem What comes into your mind when you hear about this topic? You may be wondering what's this theorem? Well, in math, a theorem is simply a statement that is proven to be true. Anyway, the main thing that you need to know is that the theorem describes a geometric relationship between the three sides of a right triangle. How is it important in our life? Well, let's find it out. Pythagorean Theorem A well-known geometric theorem. It is also known as Pythagoras Theorem. It states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Let's see the illustration of this theorem. We need to know the important person behind this theorem, Pythagoras or Pythagoras, a mathematician who proved the Pythagorean theorem about right-angled triangles. He was given credit for the theorem. He was called the triangle guy because he proved the three sides of a right-angled triangle. You should have a clear background of squaring and multiplying numbers so that you can solve and answer problems. But these are some of the vocabulary words you need to remember. Right triangle, hypotenuse, legs, and sides. This right triangle has an angle of 90 degrees. Opposite the angle is the hypotenuse, which is called the side C, or the longest side. And the other short sides are called A and B. They are also called the legs. As you can see, this theorem doesn't apply to all triangles. It only applies to right triangle, which has 90 degrees angle. We have to remember the formula of this Pythagorean theorem, which is C square equals A square plus B square. The hypotenuse is equals the sum of the square of the two sides. By deriving the formula, we can solve A and B using these formulas. A square equals C square minus B square and B square equals C square minus A square. If you look at the picture, C square equals A square plus B square. Whatever happens, they should be equal. If not, they are not called right-angled triangle, as you can see. In this example, the square of 4 is 16, and the square of 3 is 9. If you add it, it is 5 square or 25. By following the formula, we can find the value of the unknown side. Let's try to find the unknown side of this right triangle. One side is 12 centimeters and the other side is 5 centimeters. But looking at the picture, side C is unknown because that is the longest side. Therefore, we are going to use the formula C square equals A square plus B square. What is your answer? What do you think? 
Okay, let's reveal it. The answer is 13 centimeters. Be careful of writing the unit. In this triangle, the unit is cm or centimeters. It's time for us to read and analyze the word problems. Come join with me. Let's calculate the answer. Let's read this problem. A ladder that is 16.5 feet tall is placed against the side of a tree. The base of the tree to the top of the ladder has a distance of 14 feet. How far is the ladder placed away from the base of the tree? Alright, let's find out what are the given. We have 16.5 feet and 14 feet. Find out how far is the ladder placed away from the base of the tree. To understand the problem clearly, we have the tree and the ladder is 16.5 feet. The base of the tree to the top of the ladder is 14 feet. So, from the picture, we are going to find A. Let's identify the following. A is unknown. B is 14 feet and C equals 16.5 feet. So, let's show the solution. Here is the solution of the problem. A square equals C square minus B square. A square equals 16.5 feet square minus 14 feet square. A square is equals to 272.25 minus 196. So we're going to square a square and then 76.25 square. The answer is A equals 8.73 feet. The ladder is placed about 8.73 feet away from the base of the tree. That is the answer. Let's continue solving the following word problems using the Pythagorean theorem. It's time for us to apply the formula. The slide at the playground has a height of 6 feet. The base of the slide measured on the ground is 8 feet. What is the length of the sliding board? The given in this problem are the height, which is 6 feet, the base, which is 8 feet. What is the length of the sliding board? So we are going to use the formula C square equals A square plus B square. What is your answer? What's your guess? Let's reveal. The answer is 10 feet. Next problem. Your family wants to purchase a new laptop. The 14 inches represents the diagonal measurement of the screen. The height was 8 inches, but you don't remember the width. Calculate the width of the laptop. A laptop is a computer. The given are 14 inches as diagonal and 8 inches as the height. Now, find out the width or calculate the width of the laptop. Use the formula a square equals c square minus b square. In this problem, it's easy to identify the unknown side if you illustrate it first. Therefore, the answer is 11.49 inches. 
Another problem. Miss Green tells you that a right triangle has a hypotenuse of 13 and a leg of 5. She asks you to find the other leg of the triangle. What is your answer? Hypotenuse is 13 and leg is 5. Find the other leg. So, it's either A or B. We use the formula A square equals C square minus B square. Students, listeners, what is your answer? The answer is 12. That is the answer. How about this problem? C is the hypotenuse. Which of the following is a right angle triangle? From the choices A, B, C, and D. In A, A equals 6, B equals 10, C equals 20. B, A equals 2, B equals 4, C equals 6. C, a equals 5, B equals 14, C equals 15. And D, A equals 8, B equals 6, C equals 10. What is your answer? Which of the following has the perfect right angle triangle? Answer, A, B, C, or D. The final answer is... Oh, it's D. Okay. That is the perfect right angle triangle. Solve and find the unknown side of the shown pictures. Try to guess the following pictures presented. In this triangle, 17 is given as one of the leg. 19 as the hypotenuse since it is the opposite of the 90 degree angle and what is unknown either a or b so you can use the formula a or b formula what is your answer what's your guess here is it 8.49 How about this figure? We have 9 and 5. And you are going to find 4x in this picture. And we also have 3 and find 4y. What do you think is the answer? Therefore, find 4x and find 4y. As you can see, we have longest side in x and the longest side in y therefore x is 10.3 and y is 5.831 i hope you got it here are some questions for you to think and recall what we have learned about the Pythagorean theorem I'm going to read it for you. Number one, what is the name of the longest side in a right triangle? Number two, what is the formula of a Pythagorean theorem? Number three, what do you call the other two sides of a right triangle? Number four, who proved the Pythagorean theorem? And number five, Pythagorean theorem is applicable in what kind of triangles? I'm leaving you those questions to think of it. I hope that you can answer and find it easy to solve word problems and figures shown to you. We are going to end up here and watch out for the next videos. I hope that you have learned something today. 
Thank you very much. Till next time. Bye.